Boom, cannons are loud, they are big guns. Cannons shoot heavy balls very far. These balls are called cannonballs. Soldiers used cannons in wars long ago. Cannons changed how wars were fought. They could knock down walls. Before cannons, soldiers used swords and arrows. Cannons were much more powerful. Imagine a big, loud boom. That's a cannon. They were very important in history. Let's learn about cannons. Cannons needed something special to make them go boom. They needed gunpowder. Gunpowder was invented in China. It is made of several things. You need charcoal, sulfur, and something called saltpeter. People in China discovered gunpowder by accident. They were trying to make medicine, but they learned that gunpowder could be used for other things, like fireworks and cannons. Gunpowder made a big difference. It created the loud boom that cannons needed to shoot cannonballs. The first cannons were made in China. They looked like small tubes on stands. People called them fire lances. Later, cannons became bigger and stronger. They looked more like the cannons we think of today. People started using them in wars. Cannons traveled from China to Europe. They were carried along trade routes. Europeans saw how powerful cannons were. They started making their own cannons. In Europe, many cities had strong walls. The walls protected them from attacks. But cannons changed everything. Cannons could shoot heavy cannonballs at high speeds. The cannonballs could break through even the strongest walls. Castles were no longer safe. Cannons made armies stronger. They could attack and conquer places more easily. Warfare would never be the same. Section 5. Cannons set sail, ruling the waves with a bang. The invention and implementation of cannons on ships marked a revolutionary change in naval warfare. Cannons weren't just for land battles. They were initially used on land to break through fortifications and to decimate enemy troops from a distance. They were also put on ships. This adaptation allowed naval forces to extend their reach and power beyond the limitations of traditional ship-based combat. Ships with cannons were called warships. These warships became the dominant force on the seas, changing the dynamics of naval power. Cannons made warships much more powerful. The ability to fire heavy projectiles over long distances gave these ships a significant advantage in battles. Warships could attack other ships from far away. This meant that they could engage enemies without having to come into close quarters, reducing the risk to their own crew. They could also attack cities on coasts. Coastal cities, which were once safe from naval attacks, now had to fortify themselves against the threat of bombardment from the sea. Cannons helped countries control the seas. Dominating the seas meant controlling trade routes, which was crucial for economic power and expansion. They could explore and trade with other parts of the world. The ability to protect and defend trade ships with cannons allowed for safer and more extensive exploration and commerce. Cannons on ships changed naval warfare forever. The strategies and tactics of naval battles were transformed with an emphasis on firepower and long-range engagements. They made sea battles louder and more dangerous. The thunderous roar of cannon fire and the destructive power of their projectiles made naval engagements more intense and deadly. Sailors had to be skilled in operating these powerful weapons. Loading, aiming and firing cannons required precision and teamwork. Captains and officers had to develop new strategies to effectively use their ship's firepower. Commanding a warship became a complex task, balancing navigation, crew management and combat tactics. The production of cannons and warships became a major industry. Nations invested heavily in building and maintaining powerful navies, leading to advancements in metallurgy and shipbuilding. The sight of a fleet of warships was a symbol of national power and prestige. These floating fortresses projected strength and deterred potential adversaries. Victories at sea were celebrated as major achievements. Successful naval engagements could turn the tide of wars and secure a nation's dominance on the global stage. The power of cannons on warships also influenced diplomacy. Nations negotiated treaties and alliances with the knowledge that naval power could enforce or challenge agreements. Despite their power, warships faced many challenges. 
Harsh weather, rough seas and the constant threat of enemy action tested the resilience of both the ships and their crews. Returning home after a successful mission was a moment of pride and relief. Warships and their crews were celebrated for their bravery and contributions to their nation's security and prosperity. The legacy of cannons on warships continues to this day. Modern naval vessels equipped with advanced weaponry owe much to the innovations of the past. Museums and historical sites preserve the memory of these powerful ships and their impact on history. They serve as a reminder of the technological advancements and the human stories behind naval war. Historians continue to study and interpret the role of cannons in shaping naval history. Their research helps us understand the significance of these weapons in the broader context of military and maritime history. Art and literature have also captured the drama and heroism of naval battles. Paintings, books and films bring to life the stories of warships and their crews, ensuring that their legacy endures. Naval academies and training programs continue to teach the principles of naval war. The lessons learned from the age of cannons remain relevant in preparing the next generation of naval officers. Today's navies, with their advanced technology and sophisticated strategies, stand on the shoulders of those early warships. The spirit of innovation and the quest for maritime dominance continue to drive naval forces around the world. Monuments and memorials honour the sacrifices of those who serve on these powerful ships. They remind us of the courage and dedication of sailors who ruled the waves with a bag. As we look back on the era of cannons and warships, we appreciate the profound impact they had on history. Their legacy continues to inspire and inform our understanding of naval power and maritime history. Section 6. Bigger, louder, boomier, cannons evolve. Over time, cannons got better and better. People learned to make stronger cannons. They could shoot farther and more accurately. Early cannons were made of iron. Later, people started using bronze and then steel. The cannonballs also changed. At first, they were made of stone. Then they were made of iron and lead. Cannons became an important part of armies and navies around the world. Section 7. Fun with facts. Cannon curiosities. Here are some fun facts about cannons. Some cannons had names just like people. One famous cannon was called the Great Bombard. Cannons were very heavy. It took many men and horses to move them. Sometimes cannons exploded when they were fired. That was very dangerous for the soldiers. The smoke from cannons smelled awful. Cannons were loud, powerful, and a little bit scary. Section 8. From cannons to artillery, a booming legacy. As technology improved, cannons evolved even more. They became more accurate and powerful. Today, we call these powerful weapons artillery. Artillery includes cannons, howitzers, and mortars. These weapons are used by armies around the world. They are still a major part of warfare. Cannons may seem like something from the past, but their legacy lives on in modern artillery. Section 9 Cannons Today Echoes of the Past In this section we delve into the fascinating history of cannons and their lasting impact on our world. We don't see cannons used in wars anymore. Modern warfare has evolved and the technology of today has replaced these once dominant weapons. However, their absence on the battlefield doesn't mean they've been forgotten, but we can still see them in museums. These preserved artifacts serve as a bridge to our past, allowing us to connect with the history and stories of those who lived through the times when cannons were a crucial part of warfare. They remind us of how wars were fought in the past. Cannons played a pivotal role in shaping the outcomes of many historical battles, and their presence in reenactments and photographs helps us visualize the intensity and scale of those conflicts. Sometimes cannons are fired for special ceremonies. These events are not just for show. They are a tribute to history, a way to honor the past and remember the significance of these powerful machines. They make a loud boom that reminds us of their power. The sound and sight of a cannon firing can be both thrilling and humbling, a stark reminder of the destructive force they once wielded. We can imagine what it was like to hear them in battle. The deafening roar, the smoke, and the chaos of cannon fire were a common experience for soldiers in historical battles. 
and reenactments help us to appreciate the harsh realities they faced. Cannons are a part of our history. From their early designs to the more advanced models, the evolution of cannons reflects the technological advancements and strategic thinking of different eras. They teach us about the past and how things have changed. By studying cannons, we gain insights into the development of military technology, the nature of historical conflicts, and the ways in which societies have adapted and evolved over time. These lessons are invaluable as we look to the future, understanding that the echoes of the past continue to shape our present and guide our progress. Section 10, the world shaped by Boom's cannons lasting impact. Cannons changed the world in many ways. From the thunderous roar of their fire to the strategic advantages they provided, cannons were a game changer in warfare. They were not just weapons, they were symbols of power and technological advancement. They changed how wars were fought. Before cannons, battles were often decided by hand-to-hand -hand combat or archery, but with the advent of cannons, armies could strike from a distance, breaking through fortifications and causing massive destruction. This shift in warfare tactics led to new strategies and the eventual decline of medieval castles. They helped countries explore the world. Cannons were not just confined to land battles, they were also mounted on ships, giving explorers the firepower they needed to defend themselves and conquer new territories. The age of exploration was fueled by the might of cannons, allowing European powers to establish colonies and trade routes across the globe and they led to the development of modern artillery. The basic principles of cannon design laid the groundwork for future advancements in military technology. Over time, cannons evolved into more sophisticated forms of artillery, including howitzers and mortars, which played crucial roles in both world wars. Cannons remind us that technology can have a big impact on history. They are a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. Each cannonball fired was a step towards modernity, shaping the geopolitical landscape in ways that are still felt today. They show us how inventions can change the way we live. Beyond the battlefield, cannons influenced daily life from the construction of fortified cities to the development of new industries. The demand for cannon production spurred advancements in metallurgy and engineering, leading to innovations that extended far beyond military applications. Next time you see a picture of a cannon, remember the loud boom and the impact it had on our world. These relics of the past are more than just museum pieces. They are echoes of a time when the world was forever changed by the power of gunpowder and steel. So, take a moment to appreciate the lasting legacy of cannons and the profound influence they had on shaping our history.